I will demonstrate how to reverse the Java classes into the class diagram and the sequence diagram in VPUML. Now let's take a look to the source folder. We've got the packages. For example, we see the class. A very simple class with a collection and let's try another one. Yes, and class with some getter and setter. So let's try to reverse it into the class diagram. We select tools and then Java run trip reverse code and we specify the source path source folder in the C drive press OK and now you will see there's a Java run trip tree node in the class repository we expand it you will see the package structure in here we select the root the source folder and then reverse to you can specify the reverse to a new class diagram or the class repository and normally we will reverse to the class repository first because uh, if you reverse to a new diagram then you will have all the classes in the, in the, in the diagram it, w it could be a very huge diagram and not quite useful because uh, it's too much objects in there it's hard to locate your class or find out the relationship so we reverse to class repository Okay, now we got the classes. You will see there's uh, under the project tree loop, you got the com, the package, online store, the infantry, like this. And now you can construct a diagram by either create a diagram and then drag it out. Just drag the class from repos class repository to the diagram. And you will see the classes is created with the associations or the puppetry are uh, there. Alternatively, you can also right click on the selected classes and select form diagram. And you can select the customize to, to create a diagram that you like or uh, specify the specific properties like the hier hierarchical structure or the navigation structure. So we let's try to use the hierarchical one. And you will see there's a class diagram generated with the with the class you just select. Okay, now let's try to reverse the Java classes into the sequence diagram. We use another set of classes as example. We got the account and the register control. Let's see what it is. Okay, you will see the register control got a method register which will create an account object, set the properties, and then call the account collection dot app. Just a very simple operation. So let's try to reverse it into the more in the sequence diagram. We go to tools and then instant reverse. Reverse Java to sequence diagram. Note that this feature is only available in the professional edition or above. We we'll click on it and we select at the source folder. C drive and it will be the SD example source like this. And now you will see you got two classes in here. You click the next button and you it will prompt you to select the operation. We ex expand it and now you can see the register controller the Java the file got the the class register controller and there's there are two methods get accounts and the register. We select register press next and now it will prompt you to specify the, the sequence diagram because we this is a new project so we don't have existing sequence diagram we just create a new one and use the default naming we press finish now you, you see the sequence diagram is being generated which is uh, starting from the register controller, which create class the accounts, and then set the values to here, and finally add to the account bits. So this is the the logic of the register operation in the register controller class.